Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this sword tray. Now as you can see here, this these two uh, small windows are clients and the big one in the right is server. When I do an attack, you can see a trail on the sword like this. So this is activated whenever my character do an attack. And as you can see here, it's also replicating from client to client and client to server and server to server to client. So in all the directions. So here, let me try with the server. See? It's working. all the ways all right so that's what we are going to work on how to add a sword trail into our action rpg project and how to activate it and how to replicate it everything uh, before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel once you become a member in the patreon page so for the membership, you can download anything, any project without a limit. Feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so I have already implemented this sword uh, VFX system and I am going to use one of the simple, just the trail of this effect that you see here in my action rpg project and in case you don't have a sword trail effect uh, i have this tutorial that i have already done i'll leave the link in description so you can follow this tutorial and create your own sword trail i'm not going to cover the creation part because i have already done it here or you can just feel free to use any sword trail that you have okay so i'm going to use this one so here this is the base effect that i have so let me migrate this to my action rpg project content right migration done i don't think i need this anymore so let's go back to our project now here actually i don't want to involve ability system much into this first let's open our effect and see how it looks so for now i don't really need this blood dripping or blood smoke events uh, emitters i only need this trail so if i add this to my sword my sword should be in here weapons pp sword so i'll add a niagara component i'll put it um, as a child of this sword i'll call this trail fx and here as you can see nothing is visible oh, i didn't distill a side so ns blood sword okay so still you don't see anything but if i make this one now you see there is a trail effect but it's actually not visible so this has to be somewhat emissive oh no zero yeah see now it's visible oh, if you want you can have a different color okay now it's clearly visible but it's not aligning properly with the gun uh, with the weapon so let me align it Okay. 
okay i aligned the effect but now the thing is this is always active uh, uh, let's first test this in a single player setting without worrying about multiplayer so here yeah. see now the sword trail is always active that's why it's visible here all the time even if i'm just moving so it should be only activated when i do an attack so how can i do that for that i think it would be better if i have a function to toggle this but before that let me open my character blueprint and here i have a weapon or i already have this weapon actor reference so here we have a reference to the weapon but it is as an actor so therefore in order to communicate with that properly i think it would be better if i have if i implement toggle weapon trail or toggle sword trail effect function through a blueprint interface so blueprint so print interface bpi weapon. now i'll call this um, toggle sword tray and uh, as a parameter in uh, so now here let's implement that ppi well and toggle sort track so i'll get this niagara component and call activate and deactivate based on this enable value if that is enable activate otherwise deactivate okay now here in the ability I have light attack sword so here what I do is play in this sword and shield montage yeah let me open this and under the notify let's add new notify mm. Start sword tray. Well, let's use a more general name. Start sword attack. That's better. And here another new notify and sword attack okay now uh, let's go to our characters animation blueprint in the event graph let's start sword attack event anim notify start sword attack and event anim notify and sword attack okay now we can access these two events so here now we need a way to uh, call to the weapon blueprint so from the character i don't think i can access weapon so we don't have a get weapon a function to get 
the weapon reference but we have this collect weapon which I have implemented through this PPI weapon wield so here I don't really need this I just needed to open the this blueprint interface here I'll call get weapon output should be an actor now in here in the character we can implement get weapon so here all we need to do is return in this weapon reference now we can use this in our in here get weapon then if this is valid we can call uh, let's do it like this toggle so try well Similarly, same thing. Double sort tray disable. Right, shall we test now? Actually, it was active by default, but the system is working. So I'll disable this auto activate so that when we collect the sword, we will not have the effect. Now I do, don't see the trail, but if I attack, see, now I get the trail. Okay, and since our sword is somewhat pink ish. I think it would be better to use a color closer to that. Closer to red. Okay, nice. Now let's test this in multiplayer okay here is a client and it's active it's uh, replicating from client to server and I think it's replicating from client to client as well, but it's not actually clear. Where is it not? Uh, it doesn't look like it's replicating from server to client. See? Okay, that is something we need to fix. So actually I found out the reason that it uh, was not activating the trail in the clients is because I had not replicated this weapon variable so once I set it to replicated and now you can see the sword trail across all the instances including the client to server server to server all this all the combinations so here let me test with the server you can see the trail everywhere all right so i think we can now stop this episode right here and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye